Chitty bang bang, chitty chitty bang bang, chitty bang bang, chitty chitty bang bang, chitty bang bang, chitty chitty bang bang. Oh, dang, chitty chitty bang bang, chitty chitty bang bang. We love you. Oh, pretty chitty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so I've got a a lot of Dick Van Dyke in my head at the moment because Dick Van Dyke's the most wonderful actor. Anyway, so uh, and uh, he just yeah, he just his presence is very useful. Sometimes when you're on tour and you're in another hotel room and you just think, oh, it's been quite a while now, uh, you can just put on Dick Van Dyke singing chitty bang bang. Chitty Chitty, chitty bang bang and uh, especially if he's in a diner and everyone's just watching and filming him and he's filled with joy and he's like 93 years old then uh, that will bring you delight almost as much as uh, a Bollywood version of The Cures A Forest in fact I would say they have uh, parity if you've not heard that you should go and look for that as well uh, today's book and we're in Chicago we arrived in Chicago at uh, about midnight last night after doing a very nice gig in Indianapolis thank you very much everyone who came along it's one of the quieter gigs but with an absolutely fantastic audience um, Chicago's book is Harry Stephen Keeler's The Riddle of the Travelling Skull uh, Harry Stephen Keeler uh, I used to do a thing with Alan Moore um, on, on stage where we would all have a different Harry Stephen Keeler book and um, then the audience would vote as to so one of us would start reading and then the audience would point to someone else and what we found is that all Harry Stephen Keeler books whether it's about the, the case of the wooden spectacles or travelling skulls or whatever it is they can all just blend in so you can go between three books and not actually realise that you're changing apparently narratives they all seem to just become a kind of amorphous mass of strange thrills um, the uh, artist manifesto do you know what we'll deal with that later on anyway there's a lovely Kilgore trout cover for you maniac in the fourth dimension hopefully see some of you in Chicago or beyond good morning uh, or good evening I hope you've had a good day or is this your lunch break I don't really know exactly when you'll be watching this if you'll be watching it at all uh, but here is today's bookshop review which is from Chicago and it is this bookshop here which is open books on uh, is it, yeah West Lake West Lake Avenue or West Lake Drive anyway I found it so I know where it is and uh, it's a really nice bookshop and it is also very much about encouraging uh, literacy and uh, using the money it makes as a non-profit bookshop to also work on various different literacy drives so I liked it for that reason I had a lovely long walk you can read more about that in my blog post um, but here in order and I shouldn't have bought any more I really shouldn't have bought any more because I've now I'm now going to have to start leaving books in hotels uh, Beyond Belief uh, which is uh, I just like the pulpy kind of cover and that includes uh, a true story uh, she actually saw a werewolf she actually saw a werewolf In Search of Dracula I always wanted that when I was a kid when I was 8 years old so now I've got it um, this I don't know anything about this is a book by Christopher Morley just called The, the Haunted Bookshop and uh, I just thought that well that, that will have something of, of interest in it um, Sales on sales uh, excellent interviews with John Sales the great filmmaker and then I couldn't resist this this is uh, Raymond Carver first American edition of where I'm calling from and it also includes in it uh, things like the uh, uh, the press release and uh, also the uh, promotional photo of Raymond Carver and then just when I was about to leave by the till I uh, also spotted this how to cure a ghost um, which is a collection of poetry that looks very very interesting oh and this one was just intriguing I've never seen before um, Solved Mysteries by Valentine Dahl. Valentine Dahl was, of course, the man in black on the radio. So, too many books. Great bookshop. <laughs>